So maybe we can use them to try to understand how intelligence is working in the brain. And so this section of the talk, I'm going to summarize by saying something like, neuroscience is interested in, find, in reducing things to computational principles. But with AI, we can see what those principles look like when they're confronted with the data of the world. And so we can see, we can, so we can see what they should look like in our neurons. Let me just give you one, one example of this. Uh, and I'm going to take you back to this idea of intelligence as abstraction. I'm going to show you an example where that's true in your own brain, where, where there are cells that are really showing this abstraction uh, in your brain. And so let me just uh, give you this simple, uh, this, um, simple example. Imagine you're a mouse uh, looking for this cheese, having run down this tortuous path. Then the next time you want some cheese, if all you're doing is repeating the same, is repeating good actions, uh, then you have to take the same tortuous path again. But if you are, um, but if you're able to build an abstraction, if you're able to understand how two-dimensional space works, for example, you have an abstract concept of what it is to to live in two-dimensional space, then you can draw a vector and you can find a shorter route to the cheese. Humans also can do this. In fact, interestingly, this ability varies across humans and also across cultures. Um, I'm just showing this slide. This is a lovely study from my friend Hugo Spears. Um, I'm showing it because although the best people in the world at this, uh, this um, navigation ability are Finnish, uh, both um, the British and people and the and the Koreans are really right next to each other, uh, right ne um, on this, uh, on this, in this ability. But back to the brain. The reason you can do this is because of some cells in your brain. Here again is that is a rat, and what I'm showing you is two types of cell, and when they send those messages. The cell in the middle is a place cell. It sends a message whenever the rat is in a particular place. For the purposes of today, it's a boring cell. But the cell on the right is amazing, because it fires in lots and lots of places, and those places lie on a perfect grid. So whenever it passes any of those points on a grid, it sends a message saying, I'm on this grid. So that cell is an abstraction of 2D space, just like grid lines are on a, on a piece of graph paper. But it's amazing, that's a single cell in your brain firing out the coordinates in a, in a, in a graph.